I would like to explain to you how, in Elasticsearch, we find whether geometries intersect tiles at a certain precision level. And the reason this requires some explanation is that with hexagonal tiles, things are quite a bit more complicated than with rectangular tiles. With a rectangular tile, if a geometry like this town of Albert in France intersected the tile, you would simply be able to look at the tile's children and you would know that at least one of them, or if it's a point, only one of them intersected, and you could look at that one's children and so on and so on in a very simple recursive manner. With hexagonal tiles, it's not that simple. If I look at the children of this tile, I'll find that there are seven of them, and not a single one of them intersects Albert. Albert is in this area here that is intersecting the parent, but not any of the children. And I need to be able to get all the way down to the actual final solution tile. That's this one over here. And I cannot do it by simply traversing to those children. So what do we do? We solve this by adding a function to the H3 library that allows us to find the tiles that intersect the parent but are not the children. This allows us then, if we've just found that Albert intersects this parent tile, we can look through its children as well as its intersecting non-children. That's pretty good except for one small problem. These are children of another tile, meaning they will be reached twice when searching. If we look at this particular tile that we can see, Albert intersects, that's this tile over here, right? We want to traverse down there, but we only want to hit it once, not twice. If we look at its parent, that's this guy, what we need to do is say, we want that tile if it is not, if the parent does not intersect Albert, which actually means we're looking at this particular search triangle over here. So that's the predicate that we use to make sure we don't uh, double search. And then passing the predicate, yes, Albert is in that triangle, we can start to look at the cell's children. We look at those children, and indeed, Albert is in one of the children, so we can go down at another level, look at those children, fantastic, Albert is in one of the children, we can finally get the uh, solution, which is this cell over here. So as you notice, the actual search algorithm involved, searching this cell's children and its intersecting non-children, and then children, children. So it actually went through the trick of intersecting non-children once, followed by children twice. And uh, it turns out that in this particular search, I didn't start at the very beginning here, I started uh, one step down. So if we look at the parent of the cell that we started at, that parent does not intersect all of it. So in fact, we had to use that trick once before already by looking at that parent. And these cells are at the highest level in the H3 coordinate system. So uh, we would have been done a more exhaustive search of these cells and then drilled all the way down as I showed you.